Hello everybody, George Kenner. We're going to do a follow-up review on the Xtool P2. There were some things that I had not yet done with the machine when I completed the first installment and I wanted to come back and review at least two big things. You know, it's really important that I share this one thing with you. The first time that I tested the P2, I did not have the air purification or filtration system came with the laser from Xtool. Now this is revolutionary. It worked really well. One of the things that um, was a concern was in the new location where we're going to run it would be any smoke that would go out into a courtyard in a small area. Now I did a YouTube short on this and it attracted a lot of attention. So if you're out there with a reluctance to purchase because you could not see where or how you could dissipate the smoke, the air filtration system on this worked great. In fact, it seemed to even enhance the removal of the smoke from the inside of the laser, which would give a clearer laser beam and a better engrave. As a matter of fact, it'll work on the Xtool F1 also. So if you're looking to get involved in the laser hobby and you're worried about smoke, Xtool got that worked out for you, just like the bigger industrial machines have for a long time. Now, one of them is, um, it's called batch printing, and I'm gonna go into that just a little bit. And then contour, where you have the height of the lens moving up and down to adjust for a curved surface. Now, the machine is right now not in my shop, it's in what is being built as my second shop. So, and really, I'm gonna call that the she shop because it belongs to my girlfriend. We are both addicted to lasers. She loves it as much as I do. She loves this P2 and she's setting up her garage. She has a two car garage just like me. And we enjoy doing this together as a hobby. So guys out there, if you think that men have some kind of exclusive on laser interest, you'd be a little bit wrong or even woodworking. I gave her a Festool vacuum cleaner from Woodworker Source in Phoenix for her birthday, she couldn't be happier. Buy your girlfriend a vacuum, doesn't really sound right, but that's what we did. So I'm gonna kinda insult the P2 a little bit, and here's one of the problems that I have and why um, I feel comfortable in doing the video from here instead of her shop and showing you the tool, showing you the laser. The machine closes in its entirety and you can see in it and see it working. However, there is a laser protective shield that makes it so that you don't even have to wear laser glasses, which is actually pretty cool. Um, but it makes trying to film inside the P2 very difficult. So I'm gonna have to describe and show you pictures really as best I can. Let's go to how I tried to create the most fair situation to test the um, P2 on a curved surface. I got some um, alcohol flasks that are, you know, typically you put, you know, a small amount of booze in them and take them to a football game or whatever. And they have a contour to them. They're both concave and convex. I did several of them for another friend who had a label of a Taiwanese um, type of liquor. And then we flipped it over and in Chinese, we put a poem and he gave them to his friends and there's some sentimental value behind why he wanted exactly this. Well, I'm telling you, it worked perfectly. Um, I couldn't be more impressed with the quality of what happened. One of the things that happens with the CO2 laser is, is you adjust the height away or out of focus from the convex or contour, you're going to get a different effect. Well, you could literally see the laser head moving up and down along with the contour. Fabulous. It's the only laser in the marketplace currently that I knows, know that does this, even in the larger lasers. So, Xtool is really thinking quite far ahead. Now, one of the things that I did was everything I did, I did within their software. Most people, 
as they grow in the laser industry, start to use Lightburn. Although Xtool has got a software program that works pretty darn good and work perfectly with um, this Z height adjustment. So I, I just want to share that with you if you've got any questions. What I did was in this is a plate that goes inside my Xtool F1. Now this I just used on a project that, uh, a table that I did and I wanted to engrave my signature and came out perfectly. I have the D1 X tool, I have the F1 X tool and I have the P2. Obviously, I like X tool machines and they've always given me very good results. So the next thing that I wanted to test with the P2 is there's a thing called batch. Now, you go up into the software and you, you know, say put several coasters down inside, the camera will take and look at the pattern on the screen and then assign it to the location based upon the location of the coasters that are in the bed. Again, I don't know of any other machine that'll do that. There's some that will do what's called an array function, but you actually need a preformed template or a jig to put the items in to get that accomplished. So again, Xtool is leading with that. I have cut acrylic with this. I've cut quarter inch plywood with this. I adjusted the mirrors and lenses. When I first started with the machine, I literally pulled it right out of the box, set it up, and I wanted to see if it was plug and play. It absolutely was. Everything worked. After about six hours work and moving it to a second shop, then even doing the flask, I needed to adjust the mirrors. Very easily done. There are a bunch of videos on um, YouTube that'll show you how to do that. I won't go into those details. But if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Tell me, if you have one of the mach these machines, please, you know, comment, share, let other people know that this could be the tool for them. If you have any questions, again, write to me. I have a Facebook group called Laser Freedom. Come on in, let's discuss anything. Put pictures of the things that you've made. But if you've got the laser addiction like me, it's really hard to break. I'm glad there's no drugs for it. Maybe I need an intervention. Have a good day and Xtool, thank you for making such a great machine.